Bore, I discovered I have the uncanny ability to get this game updated at any time I please. How do you do that? I go on vacation. That is two for two. The last two summer updates, we have miraculously been out of town. New update! Thanks, Ratbeard! You freaking doxed me and you watched me and you decide to release it the day I leave! That's the second time! But we're here now, we're gonna show you everything coming with the new Summer Update 2024. Let us get started with the brand new raid, Cabal's Revenge Raid. Two bosses in this one, and it apparently has a new robe that is better than the nullity. Let's pull up that robe while we're standing here. Demonic Armor of Surging. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Here we can easily see the comparison between these two. <laughs> you get one more damage. 22 more critical. Who knows what that even means at this point. It doesn't point. mean anything. One more pierce, 12 more health, one more shadow rating, and the main reason to get this, Thunderman. <laughs> Four pips, storm spell under 300 damage. Which that might be good for PvP no. because it's, it's a hit and no. bubble for four pips. No. You get a bubble and you get to break shields no. or weaknesses. No. I can already sense Aizen over there. Um, actually, you're going to be able to upgrade this once you hit level 180. But right now it sucks. They've talked about not making this upgradable. They have? Just, just leaving <laughs> it. They have? Yeah, they have. Okay, never mind. I guess this is what you get. One extra damage. All you got to do is put in 86 six years of work and cooperate an entire team of 600 people from across the world to pull one win off and not get the robe. Really, you're not going to get any more damage because with Nullity Robe, you're already going to be at the damage cap. You're going to get one more pierce out of it, this much health, a little bit of critical, shadow rating. If you can't upgrade this, then why bother? If, don't get it. If you don't, Waste of time. If you don't PvP... You don't really need this. Here's the hat. You get one more storm accuracy. You lose seven damage? Yeah, you do. You lose seven damage you lose for seven. one accuracy. And one pierce and one power pip. That may be good depending on what game mode you're in because there are damage caps, pierce caps. Why would you stuff want like just that. a worse hat? It's just worse. You're trading off certain stats for other stats you don't need that much damage in advanced anyway let's lose set take let's let's just take off 48 damage to give me three more health please and thank you look at this these boots are awful if you have reasonable boots <laughs> and you put on these boots you might be psychotic because the only thing you're going up in is one power pip and shadow rating which i guess you might need the shadow rating for pvp okay the the new raid it's gonna be unbeatable for eight months, and the gear sucks. The gear let's does. just get this. Uh, let's get this established on the table. L. There's no redeeming qualities. There's we nothing got, to talk about. It's we, it's all garbage. We gotta at least show it. Here's the storm wand. See what you think about that. It's a little hard to understand because this one's just all storm. This one's broken in half. So it looks like 24 damage. You're losing five damage. You're losing. Oh, you're getting quite a bit more pierce. How so much? You get five storm and then seven universal. So that's 12 pierce for storm. That wand might actually be good for pierce. The A. And that's you get something. Six accuracy. I wouldn't use it because damage is king. You also get a tear socket and not a square, so you're losing like 400, okay. 400 health there. They had to drop the ball somehow. Let's look at the spells. It's the I bet it's bottom path. It's bottom path. I know Storm it. Storm Lord, you get the Thunderman, so you don't even need the Thunderman on the road. <laughs> You'd have multiple of them. And you, you wouldn't use it anyways. Wandits. And then the Athame, how's that compare? 27 damage to 24. You get more damage and more power pip on the Athame. No health at all? No health at all. <laughs> <laughs> Good update. Good new gear. Well designed. Hey, that's, that's all right there. You get the circle and the triangle, but you lose your blade. Similar, a little less health. You get your pierce jewel. What's the card? It's a five pip hit and aura. And then the Thunderman. I just really <laughs> you love that the Thunderman. If you grind this full set, you get the pleasure of of, of erasing Thunderman three times from your bottom half of your deck. You get a whole. Can we get one more Thunderman, please? There's the ring. It looks no health on the Abysmal. ring either. Abysmal. Why are they not putting health on this stuff? Everything sucks. You're already at the cap for power pip, anyways. Unless they want to start diminishing returns on that. 
The deck has a circle on it, which is pretty good. Same health. But it looks very similar in all aspects. What's that dark surge? Give two power pips to someone. A shadow pip? One shadow for pip. Okay, so here's another new thing for the new raid. They added half time keys so you have three hour keys which have always been in the game and now what's that say 1.5 hours thank god here's, this would make me actually probably start raiding again here's the the kicker it has the same cooldown so <laughs> you have your five or six day cooldown no matter if you do a three hour raid or an hour and a half can't you do anything right i asked why couldn't you make the cooldown timer half and they said, because if we made a six hour key, we wouldn't make the cooldown double. So I'm going to hold them to that. Yeah, you we'll see. Six... We'll see that little thing. <laughs> we'll see it, buddy. All right, that's about enough of the new raid. We will cover it more in depth whenever we go to run it, whenever it hits live. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> core needs every robe onto the next piece. Next on the agenda core, they added five new lore spells. We already did a video over this. We'll link it right here to show did. you a thumbnail <laughs> right here. Go watch that one if you want more in-depth, but they added five new spells. Spoiler alert, Storm and Life did not get one. Excellent. We need Storm nerfed as much as humanly possible. Boo, Boo Storm. Boo Storm. Storm is L garbage, 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 garbage. Next up, reagents have been rebalanced to where they respawn more frequently. They have been re-audited because they were audited and then audited again. So you'll pick up a reagent, allegedly it respawns and it can respawn in like five seconds. That's a whole new reagent, not previously in the game. Flax spawns in Wizard City and when you pick it up, you should probably only have to wait five seconds for it to respawn. They say they audited everything. There's a five second timer for it to respawn. I'm gonna run around and look for other spawn locations and go back to there. Okay, so this realm's empty. Oh, I just saw Flax spawn over here. Oh, that was not there. I watched it spawn. Grab pick it, it up. Grab it again. It's gone. Give it about five seconds and we'll see if we can find another one that one, pops up. One, two, three, four, five. Anything? Nothing. I don't see nothing. Nothing. Oh, there it is. It Where? just spawned. Okay, so yeah, they did change the spawn rate on this. You pick up a reagent, it spawns somewhere else in the same realm within five seconds. That no is... more realm hopping. Good, thank you. Realm hopping is garbage gameplay anyways. It, it, it should never have existed. This is how it should have always been. Reagents have, have been a mess. A mess to get. I'm thinking they may have only made it through the first arc for this, or only certain reagents or something like that. Flax is working. It might be a while before everything else is working, but... This There's is, another one. This is a cool update. Another one, W. Core, what's the next update? That would be... The emote wheel. Yeah. The, the gritty wheel. We're going to hit the gritty. Okay, so quick overview. Shift C to open up your menu. Click your item. Click radial menu. And click the slot you want to equip it to. Right click out. And then you shift E to reactivate that thing. I put a full in-depth video out on my channel for this, and uh, if you want more details than that, go check it out there. Shameless plug. We're here with Muscle Mommy because Beast Moon just got three new forms added with this update. Fire Wolf, Balanced Draconian, Death Minotaur. I'm not going to go over the forms any more than telling you what they are, and you get to see the two cards that were on screen. Next up, Skip World Elixirs. Zafaria Avalon. There was an Azteca one. It's not in the shop right now. World Elixirs. Celestia's there. It's been there. Zafaria Avalon. Bye, Arc 2 Worlds. Never knew ya. Never knew ya. Bye! They did have Azteca in the update notes. I think it may have been crashing. They took all of them out of the shop last week. They just added back these other two. Maybe they just couldn't fit the entire world into that one bottle. The world's just too big. They couldn't fit into that bottle. 
I think Ratbeard audited the the elixir midway through. He's like, hold on, you gotta hit, be hit by earthquake at least eighty times to make it like the proper as Azteca experience. So it, it's like it's a, been removed. It's a hazing you have to go through in order to progress. But it is nice because Core is not a fan of Avalon. I or, hate Avalon or Zafaria. I hate Zafaria. But they're not as bad as Azteca. So I'm we, skipping Azteca. I will do need never. That one. I will never play the dinosaur world again. I'm sorry, JoJo. But in Test Realm, it says they're 25 crowns a piece. We don't know their actual price when they come to Live Realm yet. $60,000. Yeah. Real I, life money. I think Celestia is 4,500. You can probably expect Zafari to be five or 6,000, and Avalon to probably be 6,000. Azteca, maybe 8,000. Here's what I guarantee. Rough numbers. Here's what I guarantee. The price is going to be effed up when it first comes out. It's going to be like 30,000 crowns. And then in a month or so, oh, wait, my bad. It was a little too high. We'll reduce the prices, give you a refund. <laughs> That's what happened last time with the Celestia. It was bonkers. Hopefully it goes out better this time. I think they've learned a lot from the last rollout. I don't I, think they can learn. They are capable. I, <laughs> I, want, I once saw a dog learn to play the banjo. Wow. Anything is possible. I take, I believe you. Or there are a lot of other minor updates that have come through. There's some Portal of Peril. A lot of fights that have been patched other little UI things. These are all the major things, except they finally fixed Arch Mastery, but we're going to save that for its own special video coming later this week. I have no comment right now. Yeah. I would say this has been a tremendous episode of Core and Bortech. The most updated. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-